that. Now flex your wrists as much as you can. That. Yeah. Okay, now curl and flex the wrist the other way. Curl the fingers in, flex the wrist. Flex. Keep okay, your arms where they are. So all you're doing is moving your wrists. So, 
Let's just see if this helps a little bit, all right? Come a little closer to the wall with your hands, okay? So look forward, straighten your legs, okay? Now, walk, step one foot in, just, uh, yes, okay. Now really round your back, pull up as much as you can, that's it. Don't go to the wall deep, just go to the ceiling. Go up, that's it, just hop, go ahead, like you were, yes, that's it. So I don't even care if he comes up for today. Up, 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 yeah. So then you go in your back, okay. Good, so I'm gonna help you this time. Just keep your arms straight, shoulders over your wrists. Round your back, that's it, okay, and hop. Straight, don't look for the wall, come off the wall, come off the wall, squeeze your legs together. Push up through your feet. Yeah, touch the ceiling. Yeah. Play your belly in. Play your belly in. Belly in, belly in, belly in, belly in, belly in. Belly in, belly in, belly in. <laughs> okay, come on down. Yeah. We're going to get this one. Come down. down. Yeah, stop that's pulling on them. Sorry, come on. Yeah. So, can you feel, can you feel when you're up here? You're kind of like, can you, can you, can you see it? Right? So, what's happening? What, what's he not doing? What's that? Yes, it's really, listen, it's really hard when you're upside down to feel where you are in space, right? So you've got to get that, like, here, in Tita Hasasana, yeah. to not do this, okay? To really pull the navels and the spine, the tail, and it's, it's hard, but, like, that's going to be your work, okay. right? Okay, because once you go upside down, it's like, no idea where you are, right? <laughs> And so, like, all of a sudden, these instructions became, become, like, a foreign language. Like, you've never heard them before. But you're doing the same thing. It just seems very awkward, because now you're upside down. Did that feel a little better with the belt? Yeah, it felt better. Definitely. Okay, good. One less thing to worry about. <laughs> okay. So, just, make, just know that when you're kicking everybody, don't try to search for the wall. You want to go up. It's also, like, it's going to limit you finding your balance. Too, okay, if you just are constantly relying on coming to the wall with your legs, okay? So it's not about coming up, it's how you're coming up. How are you coming up? I experienced it. Um, yeah, go ahead. Um, so for balance, we need to reach towards opposite directions evenly. Yeah. So once we find the hands are the foundation, um, it's easy to forget about the legs, legs. because there's no contact point there. Yes. So right. I, that's what I noticed. He was letting go of the engagement and of like, the leg, so it's easy to let go of from the pe so absolutely here below is like just trying to find a contact point. That's why it keeps yes. going there. Yes. Yes. So yes. I guess we just need to continue to. Yes, you always have to. That's what's hard. Like that's why when you do warrior. Three, I don't know where my pelvis is when I'm Of course not. Now, so right. That's why I can't get up yet. But. Yeah, of course not. But like, and this is also a really heavy part of the body. So when you're kicking up, it's not just the leg that's going up, but you're lifting the pelvis up. It's the whole pelvis that's going up and over the shoulders, right? So this is a whole unit together, the leg and the and the pelvis. And so when you're when you're kicking, it's like the leg with the pelvis that's going up, okay? Um, and what was I gonna say? Um, yeah, it's just like warrior three. When you can't see a part of your body, like it's just like out, you know, you lose contact with what that part of the body is doing. Okay? All right. Yes? Sorry, one more question. Okay. I don't know this isn't, you know, jumping too far ahead, just no, tell me. in terms of the next step. So once, because right now we're practicing kicking up yep. one leg, what's the proper leg position when it comes to kicking up with both legs? Hop up with both legs. You bend the knees. So you start with the leg bent first. Hop up with bent legs. Then you work to okay. hop up with straight legs. Then you work to just lift up. And then you're in circles away. Yeah. You want to <laughs> yeah. 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 Like bent legs or straight legs, okay? Um, okay. So you can drop hop like that, okay? Right? Or like with a leg bent, like, you know, legs bent. Or you like hop with like the legs. Straight, okay, which is a little bit harder, like you know, to like put the, yeah, okay. It's a lot harder for her. It's a yeah, it's a lot yeah. <laughs> no, it's a lot harder. Yeah. That's just it's like so hard. Yeah, and then eventually you put you come right, you start to do that, right? But she's got a really good majority. Wow. Stages, right? Sorry, first, can you just do that again. 
<laughs> first you have to like first you have to learn how to control one leg going up. Not like wildly kicking your leg. That's why I was doing all of these like exercises with you because it's like that control of that momentum that you got. Because a lot of you just want to come up and then you're like you're like whipping yourself up there and you're never gonna get your balance like that. Okay? Then you know you kick one leg, kick the other leg, then you start trying to hop with both legs. Then you start to put your hands down and you lift up. Eventually. But that's also a lot of back strength. Yeah. That's not just, you know, that's not arms, it's like a lot of back strength, a lot of core strength, okay? To come up like that. So first just work with the controlling of the kicking. Okay, we're gonna do forearm stand now, okay? But what I want you to do first is come back to your places, just kneeling down with holding up the block.